Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Today I'm down at Rolls-Royce taking a look at the new Wraith. We've been around the factory as well, so make sure you check out the other videos on the Shmi 150 channel of that. This particular car though is absolutely stunning. It's two-tone grey over Salamanca blue. Obviously the new shape coupe. The gentleman's GT touring car. Powered by a 6.6-litre twin-turbo V12. Something quite special. We're at Goodwood here, so airfield nearby, planes flying over non-stop. You'll have to excuse that. But I'm going to show you some of the uh, more in-depth highlights you might not know before now. RR badges in the lights. Maybe you know already that the centre wheel caps stabilise themselves every time you come to a stop, so they sort of swing and rotate back round. If we jump in, got the key here. This particular car, sort of exclusive unfinished wood look, light cream interior. It's a very nice place. Let's hop in, just have a look in a little bit more detail. Exquisite interior. When I start the ignition, I'm actually going to show you the spirit of ecstasy coming up and down. So, obviously, you would expect a very nice uh, control system. I'll straight to it already. So, I'm just going to click lower and tuck that away. <laughs> Bit of fun. You can set it so, obviously, that the spirit of ecstasy comes up and down whether you're locked or unlocked. Or well, as you start driving, obviously it will come up, but when the car's parked, it will be put away. But uh, it's very nice in there. I'll show you into the back as well. Comfortable. Now, one of the main features on the new Wraith to talk about is the Starlight Headliner. A lot of people have been ordering this on their cars. 1,340 individual lights. The shape represents the constellation over Goodwood on the night the first car rolled out of this factory ten years ago. So that was a phantom. And that is exactly how the stars looked up here back then, which is a very neat little touch. Now you probably know Rolls Royces and their umbrellas. You have this very lovely little umbrella in here. Tucks in one on each side. Is that in? Yeah we go is very cool. Self-closing doors, obviously. Head around the back, pop up the boot. Not a bad luggage space for a car like this. Pretty good for cruising around, touring. Very comfortable. You can close it from the boot as well, actually. Just quite a nifty little feature. I don't know, the new shape is absolutely fantastic. This colour really, really works on this car as well. So, uh, yeah, that is an overview of the new Rolls Royce Wraith. What comes next, though, is for me to go and jump in the driver's side, take this car for a little drive around some roads around here. That's going to be coming soon, so make sure you subscribe, and check out that video when it's uploaded. I'll just show you the plane that's flying over. I'm off to jump in the car, so I'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm about to go for a drive-in, so I'm going to hop on round, jump in the driver's seat, and we're going to go and check it out. For now, I'm going to head on inside and go take a look at the factory. The very first thing. We're at the start of the production line today. We've already looked at the pre-prep work and the paint.